Hello, my name is Jordi from Cinecam, and in collaboration with Adobe, I've made a brand new short film called Entanglement. It's a story about a clone, and we looked for several ways to visualize that. So all these shots were made using Adobe After Effects. Now, as visual artists, we spend most of our time creating, but also waiting on rendering. And the only solution is usually to just buy a new computer, but that's not always possible. So I am very thrilled about some of the brand new features for Adobe After Effects, which is not only going to help you to speed up rendering, but also our workflow. So here's one of those cloning shots, which has a rotor brush applied to it, some effects and masks, and we are ready to render this. So I press Control M to bring it to the render queue. But before we start, I'm going to go over to the menu on top, Edit, Preferences, Memory and Performance. Now on the bottom, you'll notice a new option called Multi-Frame Rendering. It's enabled by default, and what it will do is take advantage of multi-core CPUs, basically rendering multiple frames in parallel. So as of now, the more cores you have, the faster these rendering speeds will become. Higher end systems could even go up to three times faster. So let's take it to the test. I'm gonna disable this feature and render out this shot. Now let's clear the cache and render it again with multi-frame rendering enabled. You'll notice this green part in the progress bar, which indicates the current frames being simultaneously rendered. And comparing, we can see a big reduction in render time, which is great. So this is a new feature to help us save some time on rendering, but there are also a couple of options to help speed up the workflow. And the first one is speculative preview, which can be found on the bottom of the preview panel. Enabling cache frames when idle will automatically start rendering your timeline when idle. So let's say you're taking a coffee or you're on the phone. When After Effects notices that you aren't using the computer, it will use that time to render in the background. Now I've been using this for a little time now and I noticed how much it speeds up my workflow. I'm always almost working with a rendered comp, which can play back in real time. Enabling the option below that will render around the current position of the playhead. Disabling it will render forward like it is traditionally. And this brings me to the last feature, which is something small, but such a big game changer. When you are ready to render out a couple of compositions, we can now find a notify checkbox. We can enable that per render or globally for when the entire render queue is complete. Now basically, when you have the Creative Cloud app installed on your smartphone, you will receive a notification on it when the rendering is done. And this also extends to your smartwatch. So you can grab a coffee or do something else while rendering, and Adobe After Effects will notify you when the rendering is complete. So that you can go back and start working on the next thing. Now I'm super excited about this one, and I hope that you are too. These features are currently available from the beta app, so you can try them out yourself. And if you're wondering how we did that iZoom effect, then definitely make sure to check out the playlist in the description down below, where I have more tutorials from my short film and also explain how we did that. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.